I'm going to be going through day two of the 2022 Advent of Code problem set. Um, you know, just like I mentioned in the in the last video, if if you watched the last video, uh, I'm going to be solving these using features of Vim. So I've I've pasted in the day two um, input file here. Um, let me explain it a little bit. There's you know 2,500 lines. I'm just going to summarize the problem. Uh, each line here represents um, a round of rock paper scissors, and so uh, the first character represents your opponent, what they chose, and in the problem it says that A equals uh, rock, B equals paper, C equals scissors, and then the second X, Y, and Z, the second column of characters here, that represents the move that you made. It's similar where X equals rock, Y equals paper, Z equals scissors. Each of these lines represent a round. Um, uh, so they want you to figure out if each of these rounds goes according to what it says in here, um, what's going to be the sum, basically the score of every game. The last bit of details about the problem is that um, if you win, um, I believe it's six points to you. Double check that. Um, yeah, so I just double checked it. Um, if you win the game, you get six points. If you tie the game, you get three points. And if you lose, you get zero points. So that's that's part one of how a game is scored. But you also get some points based on which rock, paper, or scissors you chose. So rock is going to be, um, I think it's three additional points. Let me double check. Sorry, I was wrong. I was wrong. It's, it's one additional point if you win with a rock. It's two additional points if you win with paper. And then it's three additional points if you win with scissors. What we're trying to figure out here is for each round, so for each line, what is the score? And then we're going to sum up all the scores and get some number. So it's it's really just a big old reduce type of problem, which I guess is what uh, every problem is uh, on here pretty much. But um, let's get started. OK, so the strategy I'm going to take to solve this is um, since each since each line represents a round, and we're trying to find the score of each round, um, and then eventually sum up all those scores, and a score, if, so a score is built off of two things. Uh, one, if, whether we won, tied, or lose, or lost. Two, what, like how we won, whether it was with a rock, a paper, or scissors. So the first thing I want to do is um, eventually we're going to use the expression register to to sum up all these numbers. But first we got to like turn them into numbers. So it's safe to say that whenever we see an X, I can replace that with a one. And if I ever see a Y, I can replace that with two. And then if I see a Z, I can replace that with three. So to do that, the we can do a global substitute command, which is uh, colon percent S, uh, do a search pattern. So we'll start with X, uh, X, play with one, I'm not sure if we need the global flag or not because it looks like it's grabbing them anyways, but I'll just throw that on anyways. There we go. We've replaced all of the X's with ones. So we can do that again um, with replace any Y's with two. And then we'll do it one more time for the Z's. Uh, so replace any Z's with um, three. All right. So now we have like half of the score. Uh, but we need to figure out the second part, which is did we win, did we tie, or did we lose? And that can be found with the same strategy where we just go through and look for patterns and replace them with a number. For example, if you look at this first line here, we know that A, that means it's a rock. We know that 2 means that's a paper, so paper beats rock. So I won that round, which means I get 6 points. And then I, I won with paper, so that's an additional two points. Um, I could just go through and do um, substitute globally any time you see A space 2. Uh, replace that with, I believe, 8. So, so 6 plus 2 is 8. So, so you know, you get the idea. If, if you do that, then you're left with the actual score for that round on every line. And so what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to undo that change. And um, we need to do that for diff a few different cases. So anytime I won or tied, I want to replace those lines. So that would be anytime there's like a, I think all the combinations, I've got them written down here, but the combinations are like C1, that means 7, A2, that means 8, B3, that means 9, A1, that means 4, B2 means 5, C3 means 6. Hopefully that makes sense how those numbers are coming out. So I'm going to go ahead and 
uh, probably speed up the video while I do this, but I'm just going to do, you know, the same global substitute for every one of those patterns. Something that I learned uh, while making this video is that you can do multiple, like you don't have to do a separate command for every time you want to do a substitute. So I could do C1 with 7, and then I can do a vertical bar there and do just another one right here without having to do a separate command each time. Okay, I'll go ahead and run this. Okay, so it did a bunch of substitutions. Hopefully that's all of them. So what this should be is um, anytime I won or anytime I tied, now we've got the actual score um, for, the, for that round. Now, anything left in the file here uh, that's not computed yet, I know that's a loss. So this is a loss, uh, this is a loss, these two are losses. Anytime I have a loss, that means I get zero points but I do still get the, the second part of the points, which is whatever rock, paper, scissors that I chose. Really what I wanna do is same thing, replace, um, do a global replace where, you know, if there's an A or a B or a C followed by some number, I just want that number. Here's how we can do it. Uh, global search replace for the pattern, I can do A or B or C by putting it in brackets like that. And then space, and then um, for this part, um, I'm going to use a something I haven't shown yet in a video here, but um, it's a you can do a match group. Uh, the way to do that is with parentheses, and I since I'm not in very magic mode, I have to um, escape the parentheses. We want slash d as the search pattern, and you see it's now highlighting those. I've closed the match group, and so now we can close off that that first part of the substitute command. And in the second part, to reference the match group, I can I can just do uh, back, backslash, backslash one. So basically, anytime you've got, you could have more than one set of parentheses and it would just be slash one, slash two, slash three. And I think slash zero is just like the default one. So it's just like everything. Uh, yeah, that's how we can do it. So I'll go ahead and run that. And now we've got hopefully all the, all the data we need to now uh, to now put this into the expression register. Uh, to, set, to set things up, I'm gonna to need to move every line onto one line, and so capital J is the tool for that. And so I'm gonna press V to, for visual, press A for around, uh, and then I'm gonna press P for paragraph, I believe. And what that did, it's counting it as one paragraph because there's no line breaks. So I've selected everything. I guess I also could have just done um, V capital G, that works too if I'm at the top, just to select from the buffer. And then I can hit capital J, moves everything to one giant line with spaces in between. And I can just do a, a substitute uh, anytime I see a space, put a plus, do that globally. And that that's that looks really cool with the highlighting. So I'll hit enter. Now we're we're in good shape to put this into the expression register. So, I, and I described this more in my last video if, if you're not too familiar with it, but to do that, I want to clear everything into my unnamed register. So I'm gonna do C dollar sign to do that. And now to enter the expression register, I can do control R followed by equal sign. And then to paste everything, every all the contents from my, from my unnamed register, I can do, uh, control R again, followed by a double quote. This might take a second because <laughs> this is a lot of uh, data, but um, so there, there it is. It's sitting there. Now I can hit enter and there's hopefully the answer. I can go double check that. So here we are, 11906, 11906. So that's the answer. Just to sum things up, really it was just a bunch of substitutes. Here's what we did. We did substitutes for the X, Y, and Z, and replace them with one, two, and three to get our portion of the points. We did more substitutes uh, based on every combination of winning rounds, replace those with like the absolute value. So then the rounds remaining were any rounds that we lost. To take care of those, we still did a substitute command, but we threw in the a match group and we were able to get the point value for those. And then we just uh, moved everything to one line, replaced space with plus, and then we set up for the expression register by clearing everything into the into the unnamed register or the double quote. We entered expression register with control R equals and then control R um, double quote to paste in the contents from that register. And that gave us the answer. Cool. So Thanks for watching. Um, again, I might do some more of these videos with uh, different problems. So thanks. Thanks for watching.